Alrighty, so here is my planter as it's going to be sitting on the deck railing. It is currently primed with just flat white spray paint. You can see it sort of sits on the railing like that. And I am going to flip it over, stuff that middle railing part with some paper so it won't get painted because nobody will ever see that part. And we're gonna pour over the rest of it. So stay tuned. Okay, here are the paints we're going to be using for our planter pour today. I'll just zoom in so you can see the specifics. Already mixed them up. I'm letting them sit to get rid of the bubbles now. We have two Walmart Apple Barrel paints. This is Breeze Laguna and this is a number followed by Caribbean. And then we also have our Apple Barrel White and Apple Barrel Pink mixed with Liquitex Basics Acrylics Fluorescent Pink. So a very bright pink there. For the yellow, we're using a combination of Liquitex Basics Fluorescent Yellow mixed with Arteza Lemon Yellow. And then straight up a Liquitex Acrylics or Liquitex Basics Fluorescence in orange and green. All of these paints are being mixed approximately two to one with Floetrol from Home Depot, nothing else.
everybody, Luxinda Swirls back. We have a dried planter, it's the next day. I wanted to take you into my craft room and show you how things turned out. Uh, I really, really like how this looks. This is just one side, obviously. And we'll set it up so you can see from above. And I'm gonna turn it around. I'm not worried about where the tape pulled off here. I really, I really don't think in the grand scheme of things that's gonna make a whit of difference. And here's how it looks on the other side, which I really love. A lot more color over here. Uh, before I take this out and put it on the railing and give you the final reveal um, of how it looks there, I wanted to mention a few things that I've decided based on this project I'm gonna do differently on the next planter because I have a few more coming. Uh, first of all, even though I love how this looks, I am not going to use any white next time. Uh, I want more color, so having white in there, now I realize, really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, so next time, no white. And the next thing I want to change is, uh, I don't know if you remember from earlier in this video, but as it was dripping down the sides, uh, it stuck to certain um, flow patterns and did not cover the entire thing. So there were a lot of patches of dry, just the primer paint underneath, and I had to scoop it off the tile there where it had puddled and put it back on here. I think next time I will try to avoid that by mixing extra of one color and making sure it covers the entire surface and is wet before I start pouring the rest of the colors so that there's much better flow. I think that'll make a big difference. We'll find out. And the last thing I'm gonna do differently is I will still do two cups of paint, layered paint, um, but I think instead of trying to make each cup last around the entire thing, I'm going to do one cup just on one side and the other cup just on the other side. I think, I think that'll spark some differences and make things even more exciting than this one turned out to be. So now let's go outside and see how this looks sitting on the railing. Alrighty, so here we are outside. The planter is on the railing. The sun is shining. All is right with the world, as long as we don't come anywhere near each other. And this is how one side looks. Again, I will not be using white next time. Although this is pretty, it's not quite as colorful as I'd hoped. And here's the other side. There's how the other side turned out. Now the next question I have to figure out here is uh, which side do I want facing into the deck and which side do I want facing out? I will probably leave it like this. I think this is pretty and this is facing the deck so I'll get to see this side more often. I'll get to see the other side when I'm out in the yard mowing. Okay, everybody, if you like what you see here and you want to see how the next few planners go, hit subscribe and you can watch all my videos. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.